What's it like to receive a tattoo that's chosen for you? Do they know how it works, that it's not like you yeah. get to pick number four off the wall? Yeah. Okay. I think, <laughs> yeah. So you guys know that? Yeah. You don't get to ask for what you want on your body. In Hawaii, people are trusting their skin to a tattoo master who uses ancient designs and techniques to tell stories of ancestry and personal history. For thousands of years, tattoos have been part of cultures all over the world. I'm Chelsea Pineda. And I'm Sydney Kramer. Together, we're on a journey to discover the history, traditions, and future of body art. This is in Expedition. We're here in Hawaii. <laughs> We're in Hawaii to meet tattoo master Kione Nunez, who creates traditional hand tap tattoos. Hawaiian tattoos are based on genealogical and personal history. How they appear on the wearer is up to the tattoo master. Nunez is world renowned for his work as a tattoo master. Before training a number of apprentices, he was the only tattoo artist left on the island still practicing hand tapping. Gracie. <laughs> Gracie, she likes shoes. <laughs> you, you know, I don't, I won't go out to the forest and, and, or to the beach and sit down and meditate and get a design and things of that nature. Um, but rather I talk to my ancestors and they, and my teachers who have left. And they come to me and they, they um, guide me. It's. You know, I don't, I don't want people to look at me as like a spiritual tattooist or whatever, because it's not about that, it's about doing the work. Today, he's visited by a returning client. Well, my choice for one today is not, it's just to do it, it's not what the thing is, because that's, you know, their work. I really was never interested in tattooing for myself, so, when I heard about Keone and what he does, it was really just the ancestry and the marking of something ancient and that related to me so personally that was of interest. I think part of the reason I wanted this is to um, just connect to my own personal heritage more in a public way because ultimately that is why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know? Are you still going to have the birds? Oh, the birds gone. The birds. No bird. <laughs> We're kidding. Yeah. Don't worry. Where's the bird? No. Don't worry, it's there. As Nunes prepares to work, he is surrounded by apprentices and former clients. We spoke with Kavika Ao to learn more about having a tattoo chosen for you. Uh, but the design process is all him. Uh, the, the person has no input on what designs go on. It's all about trust. And you trust in his, in the kuna, the master, to know the designs that are supposed to be on you, to ho'omana you, or to uh, give you power or things that you're lacking. To find out more, we asked tattoo anthropologist Lars Krutak. Traditional Hawaiian tattoos are hand-tapped, applied with the cadence of a heartbeat rather than the buzz of an electric machine. The oldest tattooing tools yet found in Hawaii date to about 1100 AD, which is about the same time that people first arrived in the Hawaiian Islands, so presumably they brought tattooing technology with them. If you were more heavily marked than your foe in the field of battle, I'm sure that you had a psychological advantage over your enemy because these tattoos could be read more or less like a visual language and you could tell a lot about that person's exploits. So traditionally, it was uh, people who deserved tattoos got tattoos. Uh, there are 
several times in a person's life. There's a rite of passage, as uh, the rite of uh, accomplishing something that uh, tattoos were given to the individual. Jennifer has seen the outline of her tattoo, but has no idea how the final product will appear. Maybe I'll be surprised, but it's not, this is actually something I wanted for a long, long time. Um, and I was excited to see what they were going to come up with and the reasons why and everything. So yeah, I'm just excited and looking forward to having it, you know? We're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, again, is uh, a bird. Uh, and that represents you because that's uh, that's your journey. That's that bird right there. Yeah. When Keone's clients trust him to choose their design for them, they're continuing a ritual that has been upheld and honored for thousands of years. The sound of the tapping is beautiful. And it, it should never be void of uh, uh, of Hawaii. Should never be void of that sound. Anymore.